Turn with us, please, to Revelation chapter number 3. Verse number 14. Can you repeat that, Pastor? Revelation 3, 14. The pleasure thing I've been here today to die today. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans right. write, These things said the Amen, yes. the faithful and true witness, mm -hmm. the beginning of the creation of God. Of God. All right. I know thy works, right. that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. My Lord, my Lord. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increase with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold, yes. tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Thank you. Verse number uh, 15. I know thy works, yes. that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold mm -hmm. or hot. Mm -hmm. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Thank you, thank you. Our thought, all or nothing at all. Mm -hmm. This particular verse, chapter depicts uh, what we are witnessing right now today. The last church age, there'll be nothing to follow it. But the Bible and prophecy is giving us to know what we can expect in this age. And it's clearly manifest. Uh, I cannot see how people can run bravely over this and not be convicted. All over. This is the situation. It's not an isolated thing. He said, now, the, the uh, attitude that Jesus manifested here, maybe on one other occasion in the Bible, uh, kind of out there. He's all right then. Now, uh, he was disgusted. I told him to deal with hypocrites, with uh, backsliders, and all sorts of people. Uh, this attitude is a rarity. In fact, maybe one other case, maybe Mark, you can turn that now. Uh, or in this situation. And I trust God to get this. I mean, this is just eating me. Or he said, this now. Even this age is nonchalant. They're taking God for granted. And the religious world have yet to learn this. But to accept this. This tells us in detail what this church is, is and what it shall be like. <coughs> All right, then, but, uh, they are irresolute. Uh, they are not altogether one, altogether the other. And but now, but they were still, they were they were oblivious to their plight. They insist this. In fact, they were still testifying high and boasting about their uh, holiness. You wait just a moment. Is it, you, you don't even see yourself. You, in fact, you become reprobate. Yeah. You don't even sense it right. You don't even change it Don't you know this religious world today do not uh, sense their true plight? They have their own estimation of themselves and probably will die with it. And so Jesus had to come here and, and be quite blatant with them. He said, listen, all right, you know. You are in a, in a, in a uh, serious predicament here. You, I prefer, I have a preference here. I would prefer that you be all together, one all together, the other. Okay. At least we can identify you. Right. You follow me? Sure. Amen, brother. Here we are. Yes. Now, but Amen. now, but you notice this glory testimony that they have for themselves. Well, we're increasing. Isn't it, it, it sad that you can be so far off and still uh, have this kind of blatant testimony? Uh, uh, 
we we are we are we here we're not we are we're not we are we are we are this that and the other we are performing and we and uh, we we are going forth but now here see, but but you don't sense your plight you might have a good theory but, but you don't sense your actual plight and they want this today I don't, even all of these uh, television programs that some looks at and all these religious programs and all this kind of thing and all of these claims they are making. And uh, but now Jesus said, all right, despite all that you say, all that you claim, all that you propose, but you will be all or nothing at all. Now that's that's pretty that's pretty serious here. I'd rather you go and get drunk and, and then they get a prostitute and put it than uh, to do what you're doing. That's how it feels now. Bible, I'd rather you just be all together, all together one, or all together be one. If you want that, abandon religion. And go and do your thing. This is my idea. Now listen, listen. Uh, I would, my preference is this. That you be all or nothing at all. And that's what he's saying to us today. Now, you know, I can understand the backslide, I, I can maybe deal with him in many cases. Or if uh, you perhaps uh, it is a blatant sinner, I can deal with that. But don't, but don't uh, be nonchalant about this thing that means everything. Oh my God. Amen. Amen. This is our life. Our eternal destiny uh, relies on this. Here we are. Now here. I guess the most uh, repugnant thing that I can see is that a person claiming to be super religious here and, and, and they are uh, overlooking the necessary situation that uh, determines their destiny. You follow me? All right. Now, uh, I wish we could somehow uh, get a revival going. We're we, we, uh, endeavoring to do So that uh, 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 an enlightening revival. Making people are fully aware of their plight. And, and the Lord said, wait a minute. Now, you notice this. Jesus was walking among the uh, candlesticks. See, I want to make sure that I know what the people are all about. That the church can take the church. I want to make sure that they understand what it's all about. And I want them to understand that I am doing the assessment. That I am judging. This is not somebody criticizing you, but I am judging. Let me tell you this here, right? When we preach the word of God, don't think about preaching at you and all this kind of stuff here. What? Man. This God judgment thing. This is the Holy Ghost. Try a last ditch effort to rescue the honest. Oh God. You understand? Know you know this now. But he, he said, I would rather that you just go on and debauch yourself and be a profligate than to go on, amen, claiming something here and deceiving the people. And do you know some, if you claim salvation, you are the best Christian that somebody knows. They would, uh, they would brand the whole religious world after you. Mm. And then they say, well, they, they, they're nothing to that stuff. They're nothing to that. What, what? Because what? They saw you professing something here and proclaiming and going forth in a uh, rigorous way. And so they, 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 and that's what it's all about. And would you want to be responsible for misleading people by your conduct here? Oh, and that, that uh, be, be betrays your testimony? Would you want to be in that predicament? God help us here. Here we go. Now listen. All right. Now, what was that like? They were, they were, uh, they were irresolute. In other words, uh, they were not plunging desperately at one thing in particular. Maybe uh, they were trying to uh, protect Judaism and Christianity. They were not just one or the other driving at home and God would have them to do what? So what? And, uh, and they would, they would I, don't, I don't proclaim uh, this and I don't I proclaim that. Mm -hmm. All right? And here we are. And now let me tell you something to God. You listen. <coughs> when people can accept anything under the guise of religion, they got a problem. Yeah. Oh, God. oh, you got a problem. And make an insoluble problem if you're not careful. What? Now, what? That you should be in, in the battle, you should be uh, in the heat of the battle here. Wait, against everything that's not 100% God, 100% mm. Church of God, you should, you should be uh, uh, in, a, in a battle, even a, a, a conflict here that's uh, indescribable. Oh! The, the situation now here. Wait, that, that, means you, that means you don't have 
no real thrust for the truth. Why? Because you can accept anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever kind of guy the religion here, and if there's any element of religiosity, uh, you, you can accept that. But you, you know, the apostle didn't do it. And God didn't accept it. He went, I just really go and do what you do. And then do this and, and, and uh, deceive the world and have them that are uh, too looking for something real and genuine. And, uh, and they, they can't find it. What? Because they see you one way, one time, one with the other. When, then one day you said, honey, I love you. Next day you said, you're out of my face. You know what I mean? What I mean? Now, what are you indeed? I was just going to be one or the other. If it's, it's being a profligate, whatever. I would prefer you go just being all that which you are indeed. Rather than making a false impression here that you'll lead somebody astray. All right, here now. They, uh, they had some heat. You follow me? You follow me? Follow me close. There, there, there's some here that pretty delicate. They had some, they, they, they were not on fire. They were lukewarm. They had some heat. All right. Did you see lukewarm water? Well, it's, it's warm, but it's not boiling. You follow me? Because I, I want you here. I want you, praise the Lord God, to have fire burning. My Lord. Yeah. Amen. I, I full of effulgence. Amen. Mean, full. And I don't mean yeah, much mo emotionalism, that kind of thing. I mean some real, genuine, holy ghost fire from heaven. Like Pentecost. But there was no, there was no doubt about what they were for because when people saw it, they knew it was something that was unusual. Something that they had not witnessed before. And, 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 and all those souls got saved were because they saw something genuine. And a real, when a real revival comes, they'll know the people know the difference. You can have these people uh, under the guise of religion, uh, just big entertainment thing, just a show. Just a show. You can't even distinguish it. In town, they, now they just go to go and do the, 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 the twist of whatever put a kind of thing. Enter. What is that? That's yeah. old time. I'm not uh, messing with that. Anyway, but uh, that's what they're doing, and it's entertaining, and everybody gets into it. And you know, I mean, the, the saint is selling everybody's book in. <laughs> so they, but that's, that's what they're saying. True. That's what they're saying. True. Now, God help us that we would be a part of that, and we cannot distinguish the difference here. And God, he, now he was disappointed here. I mean, he was disgusted, if you will. I just rather, look, look how drastic here. I just rather that you go in and just be whatever you want to be. You don't want to be a, a, a dweller, a street dweller, or whatever the case might be. A prophet, or whatever the case might be. A prophet who didn't think, what I mean for you is going to be that. Then to be here that people cannot make a clear distinction what you are in need. Come on, come on, come on. And by God help us here. And this is a challenge. This is where we're living. You want, we would climax this age. Some of you right here, you have, I've been it all my heart, some of you right here with the climax of this age. And we've been in the coming of Christ. Why? Because we're here. The scripture brings it out clearly. I mean, they're not living in darkness. If you have any perception at all, you can assist that. You are sensing some things now that you've never sensed before. You might ignore it. Now, and if, you know what God destroyed the world about that the religious world is right there again? Well, listen, all right, they are off. We're off. And, and God, see, God cannot justify something that he sees no hope for. He had a judgment and his family story. All right, then. Now, during Noah's time, during Noah's time, uh, he did all that he knew. Noah preached with, with all of the behemoths that he possessed under the anointing of God. And he could only move these people in a measure. He, he, he could not uh, uh, transmit something to them, amen, uh, that would uh, revolutionize them. And, what, and God's all right then. He said, uh, I look and I see the people and their hearts and their imagination is only evil. They have no intention of turning. They, not, not, not religious, but they have no real, listen, you know anything goes under the guy has a religion today. Homosexual, same sex man, no, it's, it's, it's sad. It's not just an option, but this is detrimental here. God has allowed these children. How can a person fix their mind? How can they be so evil affected that they would even pop? I'm looking at direction. That's 
right. But here's the situation. Our leaders got the same attitude. That's right. That's right. The, the, the courts. Mm -hmm. And if you stand against it, you are you are be charged. Yeah. Or oh, we're in a mess here, children. Oh. I mean, there, there's nothing till the immigration of real government. There's no organization. It's the Supreme Court and everybody else. So we cannot appeal to the law of our land. Where are we going for refuge here? Mm, <coughs> and if you don't do it, then you are the culprit. Mm -hmm. You're demonized if you uh, go against it. So here we are, saying the truth, God. But now here, and because of that, now, however, now, if you're on fire, you can't do it, regardless of the consequences. Oh. Come on. And, and, wait, and the preachers, don't, don't you know, they many times, they are giving up and ministry. And the, and the people who leave the church because uh, they touch on it. And they really have uh, the proudness of men, amen, and what the word of God. That's what we are saying. And now, and your children got to go there. And they want to put uh, the, the, uh, and the agenda on the door anymore. Boy, this is a mess now, I'm telling you. And here you are, and we got all kinds of pedophiles and, and everything else, and you're enhancing it. Come on, and, and that's, that's what you got to deal with. Bravo. And you got to wonder how we should come up with a whole different attitude, oh a different God. concept. Oh I mean, and what can you do about it? The system goes along with it. True. Amen. And we're victims of the system. Yes. Well, we got to stand. So we, we're on, if you're on fire, you'll go against it. Yes. You're fighting with all your, despite what, who says. Mm -hmm. Despite the consequences. We, you, you have to stand against it. I mean, everybody. Yes. Come on, you, got, you have to not be nonchalant about it, I don't agree with it, but you got to fight it. Yes. And not be carnal with it. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the thing is, we are living in a hectic age. People don't know what religion is all about. Look what the apostles and the early church did. They were beaten, they were stoned, and everything else for this same gospel here. And that's why they quit preaching. They were more concerned about a, a salary than they are in the souls of men. And, and all kind of luxury and all these kind of things. So here we are, here we are. That's why I feel now, uh, even in your testimony, tell what God did for you. You know, we don't need us to do these sermons. So here we are. What, what God did for me. And then so people can understand that God still saved you. God still sanctifies people. God still transforms people. Amen. Make them a new creature in Christ. It still happens. It's still real. Whether you see any, any real products of it, or not, it's real. Amen. All right, now. Uh, Amen. But now, you got some heat. But now, some people, amen, uh, they, 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 they uh, take some some then, but now when it comes down to the real situation, brother, they will miss it. They will miss it. Come on. I mean, they, they, they close their eyes to it. Why? Because well, they're not willing to give up everything. That's what happened right here. They were half hearted. They were. They were uh, it, it had doing what they want to do and what was convenient, what didn't demand too much of them. You know, you pray hard. But this, what, and they, they, they would not go all the way. He said, wait a minute, say you look warm. You got a little heat there, but you're not really, you don't have nothing that's effective. And you won't be effective. Because if you're half hearted, amen, got a half standard, you're not going to be effective in a real way. Or oh, everybody got something. Kind of effect, but I mean in, in a real way, a transforming way. Trans Amen. All right. Now they had something, but now anything under the guise of religion, some people accept it. Whatever they are, Amen. Whatever they claim, no, they kind of, and they criticize you if you preach the real gospel. Mm -hmm. So, so what are you gonna do? You have an option. Amen. All right. Now, now the fact that they have some heat. And the Lord said, wait a minute. But now, but they were boasting even, uh, to the hilt. They were boasting about, we got everything. Mm -hmm. They had their own testimony. Everybody was writing their own eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, they testified even at the rooftop. All right, so here we are now. All right. <coughs> now, what I just, that, uh, that the seed, they were, that they have little element feet. Mm -hmm. This is what happened with uh, that the people have something that's akin to salvation. <laughs> a fire, some kind of fox fire. My you know what that is? Yeah. And, so, and they can satisfy themselves because they have something. You can't say they have nothing, but they have something too. So you're, not, you're not hot and cold. 
Hey man, you just you just a man in a neutral zone, but you can't be that way. You, you gotta be resident. You, you, you can't do that. You know, when, when the whatever arises, you got to stand for what's right. I don't mean just let it take care of itself. You got to you got to d d diminish it in that in that. What was all about? That's what the battle is all about. Yes, you might be battling about Armageddon on this false doctrine about Armageddon. What is it? Right or this wrong? Mm -hmm. <coughs> you know, I mean, you know, God, uh, I think somebody, uh, blood on the hospital battle. God didn't advocate doing a bloody battle like that. The what the battle for a warfare are not carnal. Oh. Amen. This gospel is our country, and this is what we're going to subdue the world, those yes. who are right and wish to be right. Oh. And those who are wrong will be exposed. And deal with the family. Oh. All right, all right. Now, uh, turn back chapter 4, verse 34. Praise God, praise God. All right. All right here's the situation. Not, Let us, I'll give you another illustration here. Come on. Neither was there any among them that lacked. Neither was there anyone among them that lacked. For as many as were possessors of lands and houses. Let me show you how God views this thing. Come on with me. For as many as were possessors of lands and or houses go on, sold them. Go on. And brought the prices of the things that were sold. Yes. And laid them down at the apostles' All feet. Already at the apostles' feet. Come on. And distri distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. All right. And Hosea's who by the apostles were surnamed Barnabas, yes. which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, yes. and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' I, I feet. Watch the scenario here. Go on, please. But a certain man named Ananias, Ananias. with Sapphira, yes. his wife, sold a possession, yes. and kept back part of the price. All right, come on. His wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at oh the apostles' feet. Oh my God, here we go. A certain part. Here we are. People get claim to be saved today, they give up a certain part. Yeah. Amen. But that, that, that they leave a residue. And that's not godly. And that will destroy them eventually. Or listen to it now. But that, that will show you how uh, God disdains this. Come on with it. But Peter said, Peter said Ananias, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart? That's of the devil you're holding back some on God. <laughs> holding back yourself, your pet sins. Oh God. Sin. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. Your pet peeves. Amen. Don't you know this? Don't you know you want that is detrimental? Under the guise of religion. Oh, oh and you're holding back something you just can't give up. You don't want to give up for whatever God says about it. However he feels about it. However God's attitude is about it. Come on. But Peter said, Ananias, Ananias. why has Satan filled thine heart yes. to lie to the Holy Ghost? Wait, 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 one moment, one moment, one moment. Uh, he didn't say anything, but he just acted it out. He acted though he had given up everything. He had to train was at that time, what? They were going to get saved, and there were those who lacked, and they were giving up everything so that no one would lack. You follow me? And so he wanted to be part of it. And so, and he had everything in abundance, and he gave up what he wanted to give up. People get saved today, they give up what they want to give up. Yeah. I mean, who claims salvation, give up what they want to give up, but now, when it comes to something that's going to be committed, really, uh, uh, desperate, and had to go in there so deep, amen, they hold on to it, and get testify as high. <laughs> but now, if you testify above your experience, you, you, you're in danger. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you in danger. Right. You better just hold on and tie yourself and get your seat back up. I said, seat back on. Read that, right. Read that again. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart? The devil filled your heart, man. Come on. To lie to the Holy Ghost. You, know, you didn't give up. You haven't given up everything. You have a stash back there that you didn't touch. There's a place in your heart, amen, in your spirit that you didn't give up. You still get mad. You, 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 had, you gave up adultery, but you didn't give up meanness and gossip, which is equally detrimental. Come on with me. But Peter said, Ananias, yes. why has Satan filled thine heart? Why has Satan filled thy heart? To lie to the Holy Ghost. You're not lying to us. 
When you get up to testify something that you don't have and that you some move that God showed you and you didn't make it, you're not lying to the saints of God. You are lying to the Holy right. Ghost. You That's right. Be right. That's right. But what? But because that's nothing. Only something we can do about it anyway. You follow me? To, to listen to it, you want. Now, <coughs> most people will, will not accept this gospel why because it demands to giving up everything for God. Yes. And they want to, they want to have a, a, a split affection. Part for God, part for the world. If they read that, they're working in God's kingdom. Right. What do you say? Come on. But Peter said, Ananias, yes. why had Satan filled thine heart All right. to lie to the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and to keep back part of the price of the land? And you wait, listen, go, go with it. While it remained, was it not thine own? Wait a minute. Your life is yours. Do you what you want to do with it. That's right. But don't claim it when you haven't done it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Amen. Increase your own standard. Your own doctrine. God help us out of here. Then you don't have to go out uh, and make some kind of proclamation that's untrue. It's not impressing anybody. And you have your own little uh, corner. Amen. Definitely not. But they're going to keep it. And you maybe have a chance. But don't, don't, don't just uh, throw a pile of money in there and I didn't, and I didn't even uh, touch the surface. Like I've given up everything. You mean like I'm, I'm withholding nothing. I gave all to God and leave it to the Holy Ghost to do the Spirit. I gave myself to God and God the way He wanted to do with me. Come on with me. Hire him for your demands of me, I do it. You mean I want to talk my way out of it. I want to try to create it, find some scripture that don't relate to what you're talking about. Come on with me. Whilst it remained, was it mean? not thine own? It was yours. And after it was you sold. You, you didn't have to do this. You didn't have to do this. You know what? But we are trying to make an impression here. That way, you didn't have to do that. Mm. And you didn't have to give it the money. You didn't have to give anything at all. Okay. So you follow it. You didn't have to testify anything. You didn't have to claim no salvation. Nothing else. You didn't have to claim no Holy Ghost. You didn't have to do that. But now, but now you can claim it. Implying that I've given up all. And you haven't done it. Okay. You lied. You lied. You lied to man and the audience. You lied to those who lied to the government. And what are the consequences? Come on with me. While it remained, yes. was it not thine own? Was not thine own? And after it was sold, yes. was it not in thine own power? Now you want to make a you want to make a great big impression by throwing a little bundle of money in the in the plate or put out money and all that kind of thing to make an impression on the people and knowing good well you have not given the ball. You have some your reservation. You came to the audience, got to testify, and you know you haven't given up everything. Hello. Come on. You haven't given up your passion and stares as the opposite sex. You have not given up and then you are the, 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 the last loud word to your husband or to whomever when there's a controversy. You know, oh, no. you, you never gave that up. You, amen. you might have improved, but you didn't give up all of it. You did something, but you didn't give it all. Come on, come on, come on. Now, you satisfied with the little bit that you did give. But you said you kept something back. Amen. And, and you, you, you preserved that. God helped us out here. Amen. You, you preserved it here. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do anything. It's your life. You're going to live that through your life. That's your, that's your business. Amen. You, 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 don't have to, you don't have to do anything at all. You don't have to try to make no pressure. If you want to keep it. Amen. If you want to book it, go ahead. <laughs> you want to marry maybe the same sex? That's your it. The law, the law don't forget it. You know what I mean? But, uh, amen. And uh, because no to tell, I am no attraction, and you and you got your marriage license already. You follow me? Don't don't do that. Don't do that. See, that be it. Amen. Come on, come on. Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? In your heart. It came from your heart. This is not something that you need to add to It came from your heart. Come on. Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. Unto God. Go on, please. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. Lord, I thank you for filling me with the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost. Blah. Then you got the Holy Ghost. Let me get to it. Come on, come on. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. That's how serious it is to claim something that you don't have. And knowing it, 
because you testify uh, uh, in such a, uh, a manner and so effectively, and but you know well that the trend, the, uh, the, the trend that's in your life does not meet even the approbation of God. Mm. You know that. And, and in fact, uh, you know, I was reading here. Yeah, I had you know, to go to the library back there and bring me a book. And thank you, Mary Cole, I think, was one of the old pioneers of the Church of God. And she was seeking sanctification. And so she was uh, sent uh, after she claimed some words uh, that she would speak. And it would uh, cause some compunction. And, uh, and she would sense that in her haste, she would do things that would bring her under condemnation. Nothing outlandish. And not, 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 not to the bar and all that kind of thing. But she just says, and then she had, and, and when she was provoked, she had unholy feelings. The heart inside. And no, that's not God. And so, and you know what? And you know what she did? When, she, when God made her aware of her life, you've heard me mention this before. Uh, so she got out in the backyard and made her an altar and spent three hours a day praying before God to give her a clean heart. But I want to put those things away for good. Amen. And God did it before because she wanted it. And she went to sacrifice whatever they had. You want God to bless you and make you something great spiritually and don't want to give up what's necessary to have that. You find me? You don't have a place in the kingdom. This is, this is a tremendous thing. Yes, and if, if salvation is worth anything, it's worth everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's worth everything. Praise our God. All right. Now, here we go. See, now. In other words, they were, they were, they were um, almost bankrupt in themselves. I, I give them everything. And here they are. And so, uh, and, and they did give us something. That was not the issue. But they didn't give up everything. So you, you don't have to have no partial salvation. God has to have access to your whole life. You follow me? So you, you, you make your own choices, but you better be to the glory of God. Whatever it is. Right? And what happened? And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. God, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to report. I am going to expose you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show the world that you're, you're, you've been, you're lying to your testimony. And I want to tell you, when God is exposed, you're really exposed. You're right. I'm going to tell you, I just go and see what, 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 what am I in reality? In actuality, what am I? Maybe, you know, all the pamphlets of people, all this kind of stuff that I'm flying, amen, to another planet somewhere. Hello. What do you say now? And Ananias. Hearing these words, yes. fell, down fell down and gave up the ghost. Gave up the ghost. And great fear came on okay, all now, them. Now I tell you what, you don't find the rest of the people here trying to give up half the money. They get hurt oh, when God's going to come home. Okay. I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to make an example of them. I'm going to show you the consequences of a testimony that is not commensurate with your life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it before the people. And when, when people saw it, they were holy. I think after that they had a very poor testimony. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't use that testimony. I didn't check my testimony. Maybe, maybe one of God did it now. Yes. Alright, what did you say again? And great fear great came fear. on all them on. that heard these things. Yeah. Yeah. And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours you know, after. Now we have two minutes to talk. <laughs> come, come on. And it was about the space of three hours after yeah. when his wife, not knowing what was done, no. came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. Oh, they connived it. They're going to come on, come on, come on. Amen. Uh, <laughs> what if she had been there, maybe that would have called her to her. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Then Peter said unto her, how is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? The Spirit of the Holy Ghost, you're not dealing with people. You're not dealing with church, uh, boss. You're not dealing with the pastor. You're dealing with the Holy Ghost. Oh, I'm trying to tell you, children. Don't get mad at the pastor. Oh, you know what God. I'm just saying what God said here. 
But now, uh, you are dealing uh, with the Holy Ghost. And, and, and the Holy Ghost judges you. And when he does it, he makes that final. In finality. Here. To be the thing is here. And we are living in the age of God's judgment. And there's no appeal. Oh God. There's no appeal. You see how fine you are? And may God help us here. There's no time to play church here, play, play games. God, Why? Because God has made available so you don't have to do that. You can be real. Amen. You can enjoy the blessing of God. Yes. You can enjoy the good the, the glory of God in your soul. You, you, it's, 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 amen. Uh, it's actually exposed you. Come on. Then Peter said unto her, yeah, How yeah. is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Yeah. Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out. Oh, yeah. You knew what was agreed upon. You knew what was proper. Mm -hmm. And uh, you agreed to do it. There was no compulsion there. With it. And you didn't have to do it. But now you were making an impression here. Amen. Because uh, of your benevolence. But now, but now you, you messed up here. Amen. And, and there would be no, no second shot at it. So I'm sure this, this is what's all about you. Uh, I'd rather not just at all uh, make some proclamation at all. Amen. To go beyond the mark. True. Because what? Because see, uh, you're influencing somebody. The business to me got help us out. So it's to be the thing. So what? And uh, well, like, it evidently he was pretty uh, wealthy because he gave he evidently a good sum of money. I get to be impressive. You see what I mean? No, uh, but I'm really in it. I'm getting more than anybody. You see what I mean? Well, okay. <laughs> but you, you have you have to deal with that in court. You mean, and we're gonna be the judges. You know what we'll, we'll actually do. Come on, man. let's be another scripture. Let's move on. Give me, 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 I count everything. I don't, I don't, I didn't have nothing here. Whatever God demands me to give up, I'm, I'm, I'm losing myself. Follow what it is to you, what power. You understand? Whatever it is, how meaningful it is to me, or I don't care about the sentiment here, what? Uh, I, what? I count all things but loss. And this is, and I didn't, I'm not grieving everything but loss. I, I, I don't, I don't, this is, what I gave up, I, I, I no issue with me. I don't even count it as a loss. As a game, whatever, this is your new thing. Uh, don't you get everything to testify all that you gave up for the Lord, please. If you say, if you didn't thank you, what did he give up for you? <coughs> Life and all. <laughs> you father, you're a great. Yeah, but now I say, I would say, amen. I care if you have a pocket full of money. No, no. Yeah, some of y'all go further. If yeah, I had a boyfriend on the corner, I would tell him I would tell him I did. <laughs> come on, come on. Yea, doubtless, yeah. and I count all things but lost yeah. for the excellency of the knowledge I of Christ Jesus. I count all up for the excellency of what? Of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did you give it up? And I found they were giving the money to God. They didn't try to give a big deal from God. It may be a new sensation or testimony or whatever. They gave, they gave it for God. I used to have all this. I used to have all this. And I gave it. That's the moment here. Well, well, what was your motive? What was your motive? I mean, you can't be blessed by, just by doing something here. Even for, for sure. Come on. I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ I'm going to show you my attitude after I did it. Come on. My Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, yes. and do count them but done. But what? Done? Oh, done. Done? You don't need to give another definition for that one. <laughs> that I may win Christ. I give it up for you. And count it as yes, nothing. Sir. Yes, sir. Amen. I want all, I want, I want my Christ. I want all of Christ. I want Christ. And for me to have Christ, I got to give up some things here. That's my 
hard time. Even the, even the, my hard time. I, I give it up. I ain't gonna try to spend the rest of my life trying to justify it. I give it up. Bravo. Cause I want all that God has for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was just a little abbreviation is ecstatic. So I was all that God got. Amen. And that's it. That every person that gets really saved, that is that uh, they sell everything for the pearl of great price. You want to purchase the pearl, you know, the pearl of great price. Yes. I mean, we're to get by the living if they can and, and please God and go to heaven. You know, that's not the attitude. That's not the attitude. What did he say? Oh, God. Yea, doubtless, I count all things but love. Yes. For the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, yes, my yes, Lord, yes. for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. I always pay every my prestige, my honor, my, Lord, my, Lord, yeah, my resources. Let's go. Let's go. I, I, I didn't go. I said, "Give the praise to our God." And he put the wind up for my life of suffering, my Lord. life of privation. Lord. <laughs> the the, the, the word of God for yourself. <coughs> I, I listen. My God. <coughs> and can you imagine a person holding back because? Something they don't want to give up, all that Christ gets to them. All right now, Can you imagine right. it? Yeah. I mean, you deserve it all, if that's the case. I mean, God, when Jesus went through all this suffering, agony, oh, I mean, a lot of times, amen, uh, bewitched and, amen, bewildered and everything else, whatever. And people said, I'm not crazy. You know what it was? Stop sinning against Christ? <laughs> My God, help me. Wake up here. Come on with me. For whom I have suffered the loss of all, loss things, of all things, and do count them but dumb. And, and I don't even, and I don't want to mourn with over it. Oh, you know what? I tell you what. I, I thank the Lord I won't be saved, but I sure hate to give up Roscoe. <laughs> what, 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 may I meet him? Yes. Uh, what, what about Roscoe? He, he, he got, 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 he well, I have to be able to get a job next month. <laughs> what, 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 uh, uh, what about uh, his missing teeth in front? <laughs> well, uh, when I get my money, my job, I, I get some teeth as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all of this. <laughs> and you're and you, and you going you go to worry about what's going on. They're going to be an issue with you. Come on with me. <laughs> For whom I have suffered the loss of all, the loss things, of all things, and do count them but God. And I don't even regard that as a loss. Right. Let me tell you something, Lord. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I hope you get it today. The devil will tell you that, oh, if you give up this, you can't enjoy this no more. You can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. No, you know, they will let me tell you something. If you, if you take it, amen, from someone that knows. If you give up something for Christ's sake, you get something a thousand times ever. Amen. Oh, amen. Yes. amen. I, 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 I if you give us some for Christ's sake, you put you'll give you an eternity a thousand times. Praise God. God. And for I don't count it dumb. I mean at no. I don't count it as a loss at all. In fact, it's a plus. Amen. Amen. It's a plus. Amen. Now, well, if, 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 according to your testimony, the way you advocated, you would what you say, Lord, I think a lot of this, oh thank God bless me so much. Well, and what you give up for it? Nothing but a sense of life. Nothing but a reprobate life, praise the Lord God. Amen. Come on. And, 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 and go around there. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what. When I was, before I got saved, I, mean, I had a pocket full of money. Amen. I got saved. I walked down the street. Amen. And four or five minutes later, whew, whew. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The leader, what you going to say? What's the song? Go ahead. Right. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. The loss of all things. And do count them, but and dumb, I count them as dumb. That I, I may be in Christ. It. And I'm not going to read, read over dumb. Look at the definition when you go home. Come on. <laughs> that I may win Christ. I may win Christ. And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ. I give it all up. If, if it's questionable, I'd be out of it. I would demolish it. <laughs> I was sacrificed. I put it on the altar. Yes. Whatever the case might be. I'm sure that uh, amen. Amen probably had a lot of question about my like, son. Whatever I mean, what if I should do this, this and that would be but uh in as much as I seem to have a little prayer to give, I was sacrificed. My God. Oh, what was the blessing? 
the father of nations. God blessed him in history and everything else. And his name is still ringing out because of the sacrifice that he made for Christ. Come on. Right. And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, not my own righteousness, which is of the law, of the law. but that which is through the faith of Christ, yes. the righteousness which is of God by faith, yes. that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection. I will lift my God. I, I guess that was with for a long time, the power of religion. What power was that? That he had not obtained. What, uh, what did Christ say in, in, uh, in uh, Matthew chapter 9, uh, 28? With, uh, after the resurrection? All power. What? All power. All power in what? In the earth. All power is given unto me yeah. in heaven and in earth. In the earth. Oh, that's what I want to know. I want the power. I want the power of God. I'm not talking about this book, uh, Spanish, Spanish and stuff. This doesn't let you transfer. Never. Come on. Never. I, this, this going, I don't care what you have. It's going to go up in flame one of these days. Oh, it's going to go up in flame one of these days. Come on. And, then, and, then too, and when you give it up, and then you find out you got a bad deal, and you can't swap it back, that's a mess. You're going to give up something here, amen, and, and uh, because you want to hold on to something, and you find out you got a bad deal, a real bad deal. Oh, I wish I had, I wish I had. I wish I had heard it. I wish I had done it sooner. Well, this is the situation. You knew about it. You knew about it. My God, help us out here. I take God for granted. That can give me and be here forever. All right. Let's, come on, let's, let's go through this. Matthew chapter 19, verse 20. The, the young man saith unto him, Sit unto him, All these things have I kept. From my youth up. From my youth up. What lack I yet? What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, Go on. If thou would be perfect, if you want to be perfect, go and sell that not, thou hast. Not can you be, but if you would be. People might can't be perfect. Well then, if, they, if you want to be, you can. In, in Christ, not in your own self. In Christ, you can. And so they have the high death until they can sin. Nobody perfect, you know, all that kind of stuff. In the word of God. If you, you, if you want to be, not whether you can be, but if you want to be, if you wish to be, then you prove that evidently you didn't want to be. Come on. If thou wilt be perfect, yes. go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. But no, not, no tokenism here. No tokenism. <coughs> now, if you really want to be perfect, you got to give up everything. <coughs> I don't care what you have, your abundance, or whatever the case might be. And you know what? And uh, he asked the question, but he didn't wait for the answer. Mm. A lot of people today are trying to prove their sincerity by asking questions, but they won't wait for the answer. Mm -hmm. Amen. When Christ gives them the answer, amen, they'll walk away. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we find anything of him anymore. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. But I tell you what, I will, I, I will assure you that he is dreaming to deal with that. I'm going to tell you something. They gave up Sahib, all those things you notice here. A whole catalog of things here that makes life delightful for most people. He gave it up. He gave it up, he gave it up. But now, but when Christ waiting it now, if you really, if you really serious about it, give up this. I give up this, I give up that. If you really, if you really serious about it, but give up this. Hold up. But that. That's it. Christ uh, will not uh, settle for a token of a commitment. He wants everything. He wants it. That's in your interest, not here. He needs nothing. He ain't got, got more than he needs. What does he need? But, but, you know what, I mean? what you give up is in your business. And I trust God you have enough faith to believe that. I, I believe that if God got saved, I went out as a young man, praise our God, that I would have something better. Yeah. And I thought it'd be so down through the years and the decades, amen, and put scores and whatever the case might be. Yeah. And I'm, I'm so glad I lived long enough to prove it. Amen. And I wouldn't take nothing from my journey now. Amen. I wouldn't take nothing. Go with me to God. And by the grace of God, my only concern now is to ride up on the white horse. 
I got to figure out nothing else. I'm finished. I'm, I told God I finished how many years ago? Over 60 years ago. And I'm, I'm finished. Amen. And I'm in my God here. And I'm not even looking the other direction. Amen. Now they want the situation. Uh, all and nothing at all. I'm sure there are those who've given up a lot of things, but they want. You can't you cannot amen, please God like that. I'll be accepted to God. He wants a full consecration uh, so he can uh, lead your life. So he can dictate your activities. That's what God wants to do with you. Well, Lord, uh, I wouldn't say, but I said, well, you got to say it so I, can, so I can lead you right. So I can lead you right. So I can, I can lead you right. Because you don't know where to go. You don't know, you don't know the, the directions. You know, the children, you have to lead. God's spoken to your heart. And I'm sure he has. If you're willing to follow him, you'll never live to regret it. You will not. I don't care what the devil seems to offer or whatever the case might be. You won't regret it. I can't live without that. Oh, yes, you can't you can really live without that. You can really live without that. If there's anyone here today, most of God. We have a prayer room here. We got the altar. Happy way, go. Happy way, go. Amen. But it would be in your best interest. It would be in your best interest. And you just regret the Lord. I, I should have done it a long time ago. Look what I forfeited by messing around. I could have been enjoying the fullness of God all these years. The fullness of God. I mean, not a token, but a fullness of God. So the option is yours. Amen. Now, if you want help, you can have it. You can have it. So when you stand, you come forward, you go to the prayer room, we'll work with you, instruct you. Everywhere, come to some, I will, hold on.